as I was saying, you know, when you reach an ending, you know it. Yeah? And you just, it's there, it's, it's there. You know it. And uh, you might find yourself in the really excitable or sentimental mood, maybe put in a paragraph extra. But of course, when you're revising it, you will remove it. One thing that I noticed, uh, and I think I've told other people about it, Many writers come with the notion that uh, this sentence I'm going to use one way or the other. <laughs> or, they, or they want to create a character based on someone they know, someone they hate for example and so on. <laughs> Those things of course are the first thing to go. Why? Why? I mean, I would because they don't belong. You're inspired by something you can No, yeah, you can be inspired by it, but you don't just plant it. Now I don't. Uh, I, no, I. No, I mean you think of a reader in different ways. Uh, I mean, you, because you're telling a story. There are some people who write postmodern, and because they have a job at a university, they don't really care if nobody reads them. So then they just start doing some fancy stuff. You know. But if, if you write in the sense that you want to tell a story in a, in a fiction form, with a kind of... Uh, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> Maybe. You're, you're talking about, uh, you know, if you're a professor at the university. Yeah, then I say it, but you know, what was the point? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so you know, those people... Yeah, so when you're writing a story, as a story, not as some kind of postmodern stuff, then you also want to make sure that you're understood. There's no point in confusing the reader and thinking you're smart. I, I somehow, you know, some, some authors do that, especially as I say, the professors. But, uh, if the idea is to, to create a story, then uh, it has to be, at least, it has to be understood, then have, it can have layers uh, in it. But at the superficial first level, it has to be understood. No, no, no. I think when you're beginning, as a beginning writer, you, there is that problem that uh, you have it all in your head. At least you think you do. And I'm sure most of the time you don't have it all in your head. So it has to be developed. But it's not on the paper, even what you have. And by the time it was on the paper, it may be transformed, but that's the process of writing. There's no need to get worried about that, you know. That it, uh, but what's on the page doesn't have to read like your thought, you know, I mean, it is a different form. But that's not the ending. The ending is something that you arrive at and you know it's the right one. Because you've been through the process, so you know, the whole thing is, has a momentum and it comes to a logical conclusion that you know it's right. And you feel it, it's right. That I don't know. After every novel, I need to announce some, some other work, and it's finished. Uh, I think the, the assassin song perhaps is something that I, I, I sometimes wonder how I managed it. When I think about it, I still don't know how it worked. Because I began, I don't know, medieval times, and it just That has made me wonder. You know. so when the once it's published? Yeah. No. no. <laughs> I, you know, I read excerpts when I'm asked to read, and I have a few favorite ones, but 
No, I, I don't. Can you explain why, or it's just a lack of? Because I don't know how I would respond to it. You know? well, that's what I was curious. I mean, it's finished, you know, and then I just uh, I just want to do something else. Uh, I, you don't want to delve into your work, into your writing process. I don't like to do that. You know. I just like to write. I don't like to think about the writing. If you do that, then of course you're thinking about writing, then you say, well, maybe I should have done that or that. And it's time wasted, you, know, you should be doing something else. Good or bad? <laughs> so you don't respond basically. Either. No.